Hello everybody and welcome back to Sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and in this video I decided to make a quick guide on how to get all the photography challenges going because I've seen a lot of you guys having quite a lot of problems with this and not being able to figure it out. So first thing you gotta do of course is to purchase the camera from the store. This will cost around 500 coins so make sure you got that money on you. And as soon as you purchase the camera, the camera leader will show up and let you know about a special camera club that you just joined since now you got the camera. And she will also give you 10 photo films in order to take some pictures. Of course, you will have to purchase some more because you are gonna have to take quite a few pictures in order to get this going. So, starting off with level 1 photographer, your challenges will be to take a photo of an igloo, a park my board, a bucket of golf balls, and lastly, a stack of tires. So, starting off with the igloo, just drive all the way up at the ski mountain. As soon as you reach, jump out, and behind the shop, you will find the igloo that you need to take a photo of. Next up, drive to the golf course, hop on one of the golf carts, and go straight up to the driving range. Once you reach this location, you will see a bunch of buckets filled with gold balls. Just take a picture. Now, as you're here, just go back at the entrance of the golf course and take a picture of a park map board. And lastly, just drive to the racetrack and make your way through the parking space, all the way at the bottom left corner of the map and take a picture of the stack of tires. Alright, and once you have all photos taken, simply go back to the camera gear and deliver all the photos to the camera leader for a special reward that includes a camera tripod and of course you will get promoted to level 2 photographer. Alright, starting off with the next set of challenges, you will need to take a photo of an animal, a canoe in the water, a gigantic burger, and a fish swimming in the water. So first things first, in order to take a photo of an animal, either look around for a random animal, or in my case, I just fast travel all the way back home because this is where the bear sleeps every time, so that's the animal you gotta take a picture of. Next up, make your way into town and go straight to the diner. As you can imagine, there will be a large burger hanging on top of it, so take a picture of that. For the next challenge, it is pretty easy to find the canoe on the water because there are quite a few lakes and rivers around. But in my case, I just went out of Stink River and took a photo of the canoe. And also, while I was there, I also took a picture of a fish floating around for the fourth and final picture of this challenge. Once again, of course, head on back to the camera gear. And you will be rewarded a camera zoom lens and be promoted to the level 3 photographer. For the level 3 challenges, you will need to take 6 photos this time. A waterfall, a pile of wood logs, someone wearing glasses, a barbecue, a person holding a fishing rod, and some various kinds of pizza. So starting off with the first one, in order to take a picture of the waterfall, simply drive all the way at the campground C and you will find the waterfall all the way at the top. Next up, head on out to the RV park and look around for a pile of wood, such as the one in the video here. And also, while you're there, look around for some people that have some glasses, just like this one. For the barbecue, I just made my way back to the campground in order to see somebody cooking some food in the barbecue. And once you have it, take a picture, and why not steal some delicious food as well?
As for the person holding a fishing rod, you can simply find a lot of them around the camps. But what I did is just head on out to the fisherman because this guy is always going to walk around with a fishing rod in his hand. So simply go ahead and do that if you don't find anybody in the campgrounds. And lastly, in order to find some various cans of pizza, simply make your way to the supermarket and look around the shelves. You will eventually find them. So take a picture and you're done. And of course, once you're done with that, simply go all the way back at the camera gear, grab your reward, which is gonna be a grayscale filter, and you will also be promoted to level 4 photographer. Starting off with the next level of challenges, once again, this time you will have to take 6 photos. A person taking a nap during the day, a sign for windy roads, a secret cache after midnight that I got quite a few questions about in the comments section below, someone driving around the racetracks, a printer, and a person paddling a canoe. So as you can imagine, starting off with the first challenge, just make your way in the campground and look around for persons sleeping in their tents. Next up, make your way toward the mountain road and as you're driving there, look around for a windy road sign. You should be able to see it really close to where you're starting the road. As for the secret cache after midnight, I saw a lot of comments with people telling me that you can actually take a picture of any type of cache after midnight. But what I did instead, I went all the way into town and behind the supermarket there is gonna be a secret path that is gonna take you at the secret midnight cache. Just make sure the time is past midnight in order to take the photo and this will definitely count. Next up, head onto the racetracks and go and watch the races. There should be a bunch of cars doing some laps. Simply get your camera ready and wait for the perfect moment to take a photo of one of the cars. Photographing the printer should be pretty easy. Just make your way into town at the newspaper and there should be a small printer in there. Do not take a photo of the big one because the large one is not gonna be considered. And lastly, in order to take a photo of a person paddling a canoe, just make your way to the lake and wait for somebody paddling by. Alright, and once you're done with all the photos, just head on back to the camera gear and get your reward as well as get promoted to level 5 photographer. So for the next challenges, you are going to have to take 8 photos this time. And the photos will have to consist of a person who is dancing, a floating dock in the rain, a golfer with a mustache, a jerry can, a person wearing a hard hat at night, a fish sign, a podium, and a person wearing a tie. So starting off with the first one, simply go at the RV park and all the way at the top of the RV park, there will be a guy dancing in his blue RV. Simply take a photo of him, it doesn't matter if you don't see him perfectly. Next up, you got the floating dock in the rain. Of course, you will need to make sure that it's raining outside before you're gonna be able to take this photo. So leaving from the camera club, going for the park, simply watch for a dirt road on the right side. This will take you to a small lake with a floating dock in it. But before you take a photo of the dock, do make sure that it's raining outside because this will definitely not count if it's not raining. To take a picture of the golfer with a mustache, of course you will gonna have to go at the golf course. Now I was really lucky here, but I gotta tell you, I looked quite a long time for this guy in order to find it. So the only way you can do this is by simply going around the golf course all day and looking for the guy. And as soon as you find him, take a photo and you're done.
The jerry can will be located at the racetracks inside the garage. So make your way inside there, take the camera out, and take a quick photo. While looking for the person wearing a hard hat at night, what I did here is just wait for nighttime and then went out the town hall. You will always find the workers there. In order to find the fish sign, make your way to the fisherman and on top of his cabin, you will see the fish sign that you got a photograph. To find the podium, just go at the golf course and drive all the way up through the driving range until you reach the podium. Of course, there's gonna be three podiums in this game and you can take a picture of either of them, it doesn't matter. When looking for a person with a tie, you can either go in the office building, or in this case, I went at the newspaper and simply took a photo of the guy controlling the large printer. And there you have it, this challenge has been complete. Simply make your way back at the camera store and you will be rewarded with a sepia filter this time. And of course, you will also be considered a level 6 photographer. So starting off with the next level of challenges, you will need to take 9 pictures this time an apple tree, an indoor pudding green, a scared person, a sign with a single letter on it, a deer head mounted on the wall, a sign with the number 300 on it, a bear who really likes fish, and a person going for a swim. So in order to find the apple tree, just go all the way at the top of the RV park in sector D, and that's exactly where you'll find the apple tree next to the large blue RV car. In order to find an indoor pudding green, you will need to go inside the office space. And of course, you will need to work there in order to access the elevator and go inside the offices. Just get all the way at the top at level 6, go inside Mr. Pimberton's office and take a photo of the indoor pudding green. In order to take a photo of a scared person, you will need to scare somebody. Simply take a photo of them and you're done. Finding a sign with a single letter on it, it's pretty easy. Just go either at the RV park or the campground and take a photo of one of the letters, in this case, letter A. To find a deer head mounted on the wall, simply go at the ranger's cabin and you will find it next to his bed where he's sleeping. To find a sign with the number 300 on it, Simply go at the golf course, and then go straight up at the driving range. Once there, run all the way left through the range until you reach the 300 sign. Now, in order to find the bear who really likes fish, just go all the way at the lake and you will see a bear trying to grab some honey from a tree. Simply take a photo of them, but in my case, I decided to also put a fish in the basket, just to make sure this works. And lastly, in order to find a person going for a swim, just make your way at the golf course again. And close to hole number 5, you will find some golfers playing around. Now, you will have to be lucky here in order for them to walk through water. So make sure you get your camera ready and wait for them to do a mistake. And once you're done with all the photos, go back at the camera club, deliver all the photos and get your reward, as well as get yourself upgraded to level 7 photographer. For your next set of challenges, you will need to take 10 photos this time. A park ranger holding a flashlight in the rain. A snowy cave after midnight. A yellow coffee mug a raccoon next to a racing flag, a bus parked in the cold, a wheelbarrow filled with dirt, a toy car, some hot springs, a sign warning of danger, and a poster of a trash can. Starting off with the first one, make sure it is raining outside and also make sure it is pretty late outside. And in order to find the ranger that's always outside, simply go towards the exit of the park and this is where a ranger will always be patrolling around the exit.
Next up, in order to find the snowy cave after midnight, you will need to go all the way at the top of the mountains. Behind the summit hut, there will be a path taking you to the cave. Finding the yellow coffee mug might be based on luck, so make sure you run around the campgrounds until you find it laying around. Find the raccoon at the racing flag. Just make your way to the racing tracks and through the entrance. Now, make sure it's past midnight in order to see the raccoon. In order to photograph a bus parked in the cold, simply take the bus that's gonna take you in the mountains. As soon as you reach the mountains, jump out of the car and take a photo of the bus. Next up, you're looking for a wheelbarrow filled with dirt. In order to do this, go through the dangerous path in the RV park. And then inside a cave, make your way all the way at the top left of the cave until you find a wheelbarrow filled up with dirt. Don't worry if it's too dark, just take the photo and this will be considered for your challenge. To find the toy car, just make your way to the race tracks. Once there, go inside the racing building where you're grabbing yourself races and you will see a toy car sitting on one of the tables between the two chairs. The hot springs are located on the first level of the mountain. Simply run all the way to the left from the orange guy until you find them. Of course, you don't have to be in the picture once you do this, but I just want to give them a really special photo here. The sign warning of danger is the one in the RV park, next to the path that's going to the cave. And lastly, in order to find the poster of a trash can, just make your way inside the raccoon's shop and look around for the poster. For the level 8 challenges, you will need to take 10 photos. The first one will be a conglomerate of cars. Four people in a frame at once. Two rangers in the same frame. An outhouse near some sand. Three fish swimming in the water. A hole in a fence. A dangerous picnic. Someone who is lost. Some silver ore. And lastly, a custom-built large cabin. So, starting off with the first mission. One car, one sports car, one supercar, one pickup truck, one golf cart, one go-kart, and one police car. Presuming you purchase all the cars from the car dealer, just make sure they're all parked in their spots. And then, jump on a random car and make your way into town, straight for the police station. Of course, in order for this to work, you will need to steal one of the police cars. So try and do that, and try not to get caught. Once you manage to steal the car, just make your way back at the racetrack where you have all the rest of your cars. Try to stack them all together like in the video here, and simply take a picture. And if you're also missing the go-kart, just grab one from the racetracks. While you are still at the racetracks, simply go at the race entrance. You will see quite a bunch of people on the right side, just watching the races. Try to get four of them in the frame and take a picture. In order to find two rangers in the frame, just go around the campgrounds. In my case, one of the rangers was chasing a duck and the other one was walking on the dirt path. find the outhouse near some sand, simply go at the golf course all the way at the top right corner, and that's where you'll find it. To 
To find the three fishes swimming in the water, all you gotta do is find the water spot, such as the lake. Look for some fishes swimming around and try to get three of them in the same frame. Finding the hole in the fence is pretty easy. Simply go inside the town and behind the police station, you will see a hole in the fence. The dangerous picnic is gonna be located at the lake where the bear is trying to pick up some honey from the tree. To find someone who is lost, simply go on the other side of the lake at the maze and take a picture of one of the two people trying to find their way out of the maze. The silver ore can be located inside the cave through the RV campgrounds. Simply make your way through the cave and go all the way at the right side of the cave until you find the silver ore. And lastly, the custom built large cabin is your actual home, but make sure you've upgraded it completely in order for this to work. And there you have it! Now these are all the photographer challenges that you can currently do in the game. Hopefully in the future we will get some more because these have been really fun to make and I had quite a blast. Alright guys, I hope this video has been really helpful to you and if it did, please make sure you hit on that like button down below as that will help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one really soon. Bye!